not regular. I will not give you regular. We've got three new iPhones, everyone. We've got the iPhone 11 Pro, the iPhone 11 in the middle, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let's unbox them. Apple has given us the green version for all the new iPhones, and let's start with the cheapest of the lot, the iPhone 11. As you can see here, it's the 256 gigabyte version of the iPhone 11. There is a handy little plastic wrapper that you can just easily pull off. Let's put that to the side and you can see a lovely green color shining through underneath that plastic. Let's gently take that out. And let's put that over here for now. Let's first go through the rest of the contents in the box. Starting with, you have your standard warranty details and paper, along with a SIM tool, and your stickers that you can attach to your laptop or MacBook. And here you can see Apple has given us lightning earbuds with a little lightning adapter. as well as the standard charger that you get and have gotten in the box for the past few iPhones. And it's also a lightning charger. There's no USB-C this time around, maybe next year. Now let's take off that plastic wrapper. Okay. There's nothing really on the back here, but you can see that this is the glossier version, the iPhone 11 Pro models have a matte texture, so they're a little, uh, I guess, different texture on the back when you're touching it. Here you can definitely attract a little more fingerprints, and you can see it just attracting a lot of light, so it really is much more glossier than the Pro models. And this isn't obviously a seamless piece of glass here. I mean, this is one overall piece of glass, but there is a bit of a raised edge here where this initial camera bump starts. And of course, then it's even raised further for that second camera bump for a dual bump-esque feature right here. And it's kind of a sharp edge right here by this corner. So it's not like a, a seamless curved bump that as you slide your finger across the back, you're actually getting something more of a, uh, a rigid, hard, sort of sharp little curvature right there. And then of course, not so much of a bump between this one and the camera module itself, but still something that's a little noticeable. I did want to check though, because there's a bit of a bump there, I did want to check if you put it on a table and you use the phone while it's on a table, whether there will be a bump or noticeable sound or rocking on the phone. And yeah, it does make a bit of a sound. It's not level and uh, not the most pleasant feeling. It's just not seamless as I had hoped. But that's been the case for iPhones for quite a while because they all have had little bumps on the back of the camera. Otherwise, on top of this glass here and the glass in the front, it's uh, aluminum around the sides, so not as high quality as the material found on the Pro models, which is stainless steel, but it still feels quite nice. This one is a 6.1 inch screen and it's pretty nice to hold in the hand. Definitely something pretty uh, usable with one hand, unlike the Pro Max, which I feel like might be a little too much. But uh, that's a quick look at the iPhone 11. This is just one of the six colors that are available. One of my other favorite colors is the purple, and I kind of wish we had that too. But again, you're gonna be able to choose what color you want. So this is just a quick look at the green option, whether you want the red, the purple, black, white. Well, there's a lot of options to choose from and that's your choice. Now let's move on to the iPhone 11 Pro. Just a quick note, the iPhone 11 costs $699 and this next one costs $999. So let's see what you get in the box for $300 more. 
This is the 512 gigabyte version. I gotta say right off the bat that midnight green looks absolutely gorgeous, but I do know there are some people that are on the fence on that color option, so there are three other color options for you to choose from, so some variety there. Now before we look at the phone, I'm gonna put that aside and continue going on into the box just to see what else is in there. And you get the same old stack of papers, warranty information stickers that we saw before. Now here is something different. This is the 18 watt charger. It has been available before. You can buy it right now on Apple's store as a separate purchase, but it's the first time it's now being included in the box. So what exactly does that mean? Well, it means that now you can actually fast charge your phone, so it won't take three hours and some change to fully charge your iPhone from zero to 100. Now it should ideally take about an hour and a half but we'll be doing some testing to make sure exactly how long it'll take to charge the phone with the new fast charger in the box. And you also get this same lightning earbuds included in the box as we saw on the iPhone 11. But that's another thing, the iPhone 11 is not gonna come with that fast charger in the box. It does support fast charging, you just have to buy it as a separate accessory. So right off the bat, you can just see how much glossier the iPhone 11 is compared to the iPhone 11 Pro, and that's because of that matte texture that's now here on the Pro. Feels a lot nicer, not as maybe, there's not as much friction as there is on the iPhone 11. It's just a lot smoother. Maybe that means it's a little slipperier, slipperier but uh, I definitely like the feel a lot more on the 5.8 inch iPhone 11 Pro, which by the way, feels absolutely fantastic in the hand. It's just perfectly the, the right size for people who don't really want too big of a phone. But you know, this, this is also a pretty good size too, 6.1 inches on the iPhone 11. And of course the other noticeable difference is that extra camera right there. You're getting an extra telephoto lens while both the iPhone 11 and the 11 Pro have a wide angle camera paired with an ultra wide angle camera. My biggest worry is I noticed a ton of dust sitting right around the lenses right here back in my initial hands on uh, at the Apple event. And that's I think the biggest worry for me is that there's just gonna be so much dust that you're gonna end up cleaning this part of the camera uh, area a lot more than the rest of the phone because sure you're not going to be able to see fingerprints on this matte texture right here but this part is going to attract a ton of fingerprints and that's something that you might still want to carry a microfiber cloth for. Now let's move on to the iPhone 11 Pro Max which costs $1,099. Now this model is actually quite similar to the iPhone 11 Pro the only real difference being the size, so that means better battery life and a bigger screen. And you can just see how much more it's fitting in the palm of my hand. Definitely a two-handed phone. I have big hands, so I kind of like the Pro Max model, but if you're someone who prefers smaller phones, you're gonna want to get the iPhone 11 Pro or go for the iPhone 11 and sacrifice a few features. Now keep in mind you're getting slightly better materials here. It's stainless steel on the iPhone 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max, better than the aluminum found on the iPhone 11. In the box, you're getting that same 18 watt charger that we saw on the iPhone 11 Pro. Everything else is more or less the same. One thing to note is that it is USB-C to lightning on the fast charger right here. So that doesn't mean that you can plug this into your MacBook and still be able to charge your iPhone. That's not the case with the iPhone 11, which comes with a USB-A to lightning cable. So if your MacBook has a USB-A port, that's good. But chances are, if you have a modern MacBook, probably not. But that's not all. We have a couple of clear cases from Apple. Just we're gonna put them on each individual iPhone just so you have a sense of what it looks like in case you wanna get a clear case to show off the color of your new iPhone. This one's for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. 
It's a hard shell TPU case. Definitely rigid, definitely will protect your iPhone. And it's definitely glossy and will attract fingerprints, which kind of ruins the purpose of the matte finish here, but it will definitely keep your iPhone safe. And if you have nails, actually, if you don't have nails, it's pretty easy to access that mute slider right there. The buttons are a bit tough to press, but I imagine that will get a little better over time. And you still get full access to the screen, minimal of a bump there on the sides, so it's still pretty easy to access the very edges of the screen. These are the same exact cases all around for each individual iPhone here. So more or less the same experience putting them all on each iPhone. That's just a quick look at all three new iPhones. They'll be available this Friday, September 20th for purchase.